I'm blogger Linda Huang, and the reason I'm whispering is because we don't want to scare away the muskwa bear that's behind us. Today, we're gonna to show you how to experience wildlife safely uh, and in the best possible way with the Jasper Tour Company in Jasper National Park, just a few hours west of Edmonton. We're gonna have a little smudge. To begin your day, just say some good things, think some good things. Start your day out right. We started this company so that I could get out onto the landscape with people. It allowed them the opportunity to connect with the land. Jasper National Park's a big place, 11,000 square kilometers roughly in size, and you can see wildlife year round. We have bears, and bears, by the way, is muskwa for black bear and mistahaya for grizzly bear. We've got elk, different deer family, apsimosos, atik, which is caribou, bighorn sheep. Oh, that osprey sitting on top of that tree, fishing in the river perhaps, you see it? If you see scats. Must be a bear somewhere. How yeah. can you tell that it's bear um, scats? Well, I'm familiar <laughs> with it, but I've tasted it in the past what? and smelled it. And no. <laughs> bear, left hand Where? side. Left hand side. You see a bear? Right there. That's gotta be a bear with his bum sticking out I on the road. I see it, I see it. Oh, he's so cute. What kind of bear is he? That's Musqua the black bear. Basically, they just eat until they hibernate? Is that the idea? That's it. They wake up from hibernation and very quickly it's eat, 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 poop, eat, 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 poop. So what is this? This is Waskisu, or Wawaskisu in Cree, Waskisu in Michif, otherwise known as elk. He's not full size. No, 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 not yet, but he's big. Those are not horns, they're antlers. Oh, antlers. Is that a common? It's a common mistake, yeah. Wow, look at those antlers. Yeah, are they, they kind of velvety? They are velvety. How cute is he? <laughs> In this world, it's you, Linda, and not him who wander around going, oh my God, check out the rack on that guy. <laughs> Miksu, baby eagle. Miksu, baby eagle. An eaglet. Waiting for its parents. I think they've left it behind now with intention of uh, it learning to fly if it wants to survive. Oh look, buffalo berry, that's the, what the, the bear, bear was eating. eating. And the lips and the tongues are just picking them really delicately. They're not the best tasting, but go ahead. I'd have that in a salad. Yeah? <laughs> Four months from nothing to this, and don't forget, you've grown two of them. Oh my God. So put your arm out. Just one though? Sure. So this is how strong you gotta be. Oh my God. <laughs> now imagine you're carrying two of them on your head. Ooh, I can't it's even, not I wouldn't right? even be able to. <laughs> Ultimately, what I want to hear from people is that when they leave here, that they feel a greater connection to this place than they had when they got here. I'm hoping that you've taken those connections back to where it is that you come from and you're trying to rediscover wild spaces where you live or, or help wild spaces proliferate where you live. So come on out. I'll let you know when the best time of years are for whatever animal that you're looking for. Uh, there's still no guarantee that you're gonna find it but at least you have that kind of intel and, and, and it's gonna increase your odds. It's about the journey. If you're looking for a safe and memorable wildlife experience, book with Joe and the Jasper Tour Company. And don't forget to subscribe to Travel Alberta's YouTube channel for more exploration ideas. See you next time.